This is the machine that we would like to design. This is the liquid fluoride thorium reactor. It has a reactor vessel made of Hastelloy N. We know that we have to protect this material from the difficult environment it's going to encounter inside the reactor. And so that's why the overwhelming majority of the interior of the reactor is composed of graphite structures. Graphite structures that separate the fuel that flows through these recursive tubes from the blanket. And the blanket fluid surrounds the entire core of the reactor. It's hard to see the boundary between the blanket and the core. But that blanket protects the metallic structures from the radiation damage. It protects from neutron flux. It basically keeps that nuclear reaction bottled up in, in, a, in a region of the reactor where it's not going to cause nearly the damage to materials that it would otherwise cause, uh, for instance, in a one-fluid reactor where you could have fission occurring right up to the very edge of the metallic structure. In a two-fluid reactor, there's a lot of thorium-containing fluid between the edge of the core and the reactor wall that absorbs neutrons, gammas and radiation flux and prevent it from damaging the material because we know that metal does have some severe issues when it's close to the nuclear reaction. But once this fuel leaves the reactor structure, fission stops. And so there's not an appreciable uh, neutron or, or radiation flux outside the reactor to nearly the degree that there is inside the reactor.